All right, YouTube, what's up? Uh, coffee time with Diablo 4 again. And uh, I actually wanted to start that video last night, but I just noticed that we're getting some juicy uh, updates from the D4 panel and I thought that in the end, uh, all I say would probably be obsolete and redundant footnote or whatever. And I kind of decided to wait until the morning, see what happens. And it's still raining outside, so I hadn't lost the moment. I'm sitting here on the edge of the world, setting the proper mood. And uh, yeah, we did get some updates uh, for D4, for the future of D4. And uh, the, the one thing that actually correlates with my uh, my whole point here in that video is uh, how they talked about that atomization is a huge priority for them and how they're trying to, you know, <laughs> unscrew it, how they're trying to fix it, how they're trying to, you know, working on them. Um, ways to improve it and um this is what uh my whole you know idea is right now and uh, what i'm going to brainstorm through and what i will try to you know philosophize about a bit and go through some of uh the bullet points that i've made for myself um things that i've experienced through my you know pre-season playthrough and through my current playthrough uh that have stuck out as broken, irritating, and uh, all of that. So um, I'm going to start with asking the simple question, what is the purpose of items in an ARPG? And, um, you know, you would say, you know, attaining power, enhancing it, character progression, uh, braving obstacles, eventually beating the game. And uh, yeah, this is kind of it, but you know, it's a multi layered thing, and um, everyone feels kind of differently about it. Most people would probably not end up beating the whole game, most people would, you know, level up a bit and all that. And um, there are many aspects that uh, require itemization to be good for them to be meaningful and exciting and this is also early game this is also like mid game this is what are you doing with these items once you've gotten them what 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 do you have to kill with them is there anything to kill with them and what do you do once you've killed everything and all that so um in d4 right now we are in that crippled state where uh both itemization is not really good and um, there is no other purposes for it and for these items because you don't have you don't have trading at least for the good items. Uh, I mean for the you know for the uniques, and uh, you don't have much to do with them once you've gotten them. So to, to what end are we having these items? So to what end would we uh, use them? What is the what is the final destination of our enhanced powerful character so, so it took me a week or so uh to get to that point while i'm working full time nine to six with a kid and a dog just playing for a couple of hours uh during the weekends playing for a bit of, you know just super tired after work playing like i'm of dead and all that and just it took me oh okay let's say two weeks uh because i can't really remember when the season started it was like well, october 17th or something like that so yeah let's say it took me like two weeks to kill everything to get all the good perfect rolls of the gear that i need or just you know near perfect all that and um yeah, this is one character. People would probably want to get two characters, three characters, whatever. But, you know, when I say that I've gotten to the point where I have nothing else to gain from that season, I mean that even if I continue farming the materials for Ubers and doing Ubers and getting all these items, uh, what am I going to do with these items? And um, am I going to chase these little green numbers that would make uh, little to no difference in my uh, damage output or uh, my can't trade them i can't do anything with them i can just hoard them and uh, fill my inventory i can just extract more aspects i can just you know uh kind of 
do this little sandbox thing that makes no sense. So if you were to have, let's say, more uniques, uniques that are not scaling with ancestral and sacred, uniques that serve different purposes, and no smart loot whatsoever, because smart loot is dumb loot and it kills the feeling of uh, variety in, in items dropping. Uh, that would mean that if, if we didn't have these things and if we had more uh, uniques to choose from, I could be farming for a different character. I could be, you know, getting leveling uniques so that my character journey from 1 to 70, for example, which is, you know, the boring part. But right now I can't do that. Well, what I'm left to do is, you know, just collect shit and uh, disenchant it because it's not good. But going back to the question of what is the purpose of items and now what is the purpose of uniques? Well, uh, a good example of that is the Dome and Stone. Uh, and I actually don't have it on me, but, you know, it's in my stash. But I tried to build with it and it was super fun. I dropped the Dome and Stone. I got excited. I, I made the build with the rotating boulders and it was fun. I killed Dorio with it and uh, it served that purpose. And this, okay, they've added it right now. I mean, they've added it with the new season and this is what we're talking about right here. This is what we need. This is what we need more of in D4. And um, if they continue with uh, with that mindset, perfect. I mean, we're, we're, we're going to have a good time in the game. Uh, what I did not like though is how they they first introduce that item and then we say we're we we're, we work working all of the uniques where you know we've looked into it we've looked into your feedback and what we're doing is now this item does sixty percent more damage. This kind of reminds me of uh, itemization two point oh in uh, Diablo three if you remember that when we still had the real money auction house back in the day and where we got that rework with the two handers actually doing damage i think that was the whole thing uh and um uh, you know we've had that revamp and first day the, the patch goes live i drop a perfect scorn i just uh for the for the fun of it just put it for 50 dollars in the in the auction house and it sold like instantly because people were people were thinking that now we're we're going to have like you know the good items and now we have to chase these and couple of days later uh, these are like raining from the sky everyone has everything again and it's just you know we don't want that we don't we don't need that and it's not healthy for the game uh so what i'm saying here is um we need more unique items to serve a certain purpose that solve a certain problem that make wonky variations uh and wonky interactions with your skills and your characters your paragon uh, and uh, let us experiment with that shit let us break the game it's okay for us to be able to eventually find a way to break the game i'm not talking about like a missed decimal or something that where you like in wilson's situation where we had that sword and board uh set up that made like ten thousand percent more damage than it should have done like someone missed the or something what i'm talking about here is just give us you know insane interactions that with with enough you know theory crafting with enough time spent into you know experimenting with it we would eventually find a way to do something really cool with it and if it's like too broken yes you gotta you know you can adjust it you can fix it you can you can nerf it next season uh, but give us that option, uh, give us the ability to work towards a certain interesting goal and um, having just more damage on this than before, but adjusting some of other like percentages and all that. It's just, you know, this is not a, a rework of the itemizations. This is just, you know, uh, kind of a lazy approach to, 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 to do the whole thing. And um, we don't want that. And uh, I would probably have to make that parallel again i hate doing it but it's just the way it is and i will go back to d2 um and let's say you are farming travinko you're getting killed by the hydras you don't have fire res but you want to farm 
Ravenco because you want to get high runes. You don't need magic find for uh, runes, right? Uh, so you can basically put Inferno Stride on if you have these. But they're a common drop. You can drop them. You can have them um, on almost every character. Inferno Stride solves that problem. You've got, you know, let me just hide it here. Um, you've got Fire Reds. You've got Maximum Fire Reds. There you go. Uh, perfect. Perfect uh, item for that purpose. You know, you, you just put them on, forget about the Hydras. Farm traveling call all day, you know, uh, if you, your other <laughs> gear is relevant, but you know what I mean. Um, and uh, we, I don't feel like we have stuff like that here. We, we don't kind of get, we, we've got these end game uber uniques that again, I think mm, some of them are just for the, for the sake of being uber and for the prestige of it and i if i would equip these i would not actually benefit from them that much because i really need those stupid aspects for my skills to work for that puzzle to be like you know arranged so that everything fits together and if i remove one aspect then the whole thing breaks and um i kind of you know i'm uh tied to using that and all these uber uniques i can't swap out i cannot you know use them for different purposes and if i were to you know want to swap something for let's say i need poison mike's poison rest jewelry or something like that yeah i can drink a, uh, an elixir but let's say i needed an item to, to swap a certain item for a certain fight then i'll have to have a backup aspect i'll have to you know find one and it's just a bit tedious a bit annoying to have all these backup items have all these backup aspects and swap and and, and uh, speaking about these aspects right now uh, I just think that this is getting way out of line and we are seeing too many uh, legendaries dropping because we need all the you know the good rolls on these aspects we have to extract more and more and more and we have to we have to keep extracting all the time so that we can eventually get all our items to have the perfect rolls on them and uh, we just have to collect every one that every one that drops so that in case we miss a good roll and in case we need a backup of it we have to hoard them we have to uh, you know keep a couple of backups and this kind of moments the need for uh for them to be dropping all the time also uh you also need the crafting bases so that means a lot of a lot of rares are dropping all the time and we end up in this situation where we're having this you know, Diablo 3 PTR level of loot piñata that is just looks like uh, one of these old school mods from D2 that kind of made the game look crazy and it just if we were to have for example let's let's just go back to a hub where we have the occultist so the codex of power we already have that as a system. Why not have something similar with the rest of the with the rest of the aspect? And uh, let's say we've got, for example, we go to the occultist here, and uh, we've got a uh, separate tab or stash or something. We've got an option to you know we get something like that extract. Let's say we've got this hurricane. We've got that dropped. We extract it. And uh, now we have, you know, the, the baseline or whatever we've extracted, you know, for example, 28. We, we've got 28 and we can always apply that 28 to every item that we want. I mean, not every item to, you know, the items that are applicable for it. But let's say we find a better weapon, you know, slap that aspect on it from from the menu here. Uh, but, you know, you want a perfect roll on that. You've only got 28. Uh, what you can do is kind of upgrade it with a uh, for example a new crafting mat and yeah people will probably raise the pitchforks now and say uh enough of that shit we've got too many crafting mats already we've got like they look at that look at that thing i mean it's hoarding all that but yeah it, it doesn't take this it, they don't take space we, we've got like this auto pickup thing so it's not gonna be like a noticeable thing uh but it could add a purpose to certain encounters uh you can you know add something like these are dropping only from goblins or you can you know add certain 
dungeons that uh, drop days or uh, you know i don't know some some kind of legendary dust or some some crafting mat that you need only for upgrading these these rolls these numerical uh values for example when you spend enough you can upgrade it maybe it should not be as easy as the other uh stuff like you know the the fiend roads and all that maybe it should not be as abundant and as common to get them so it takes a bit of you know farming you actually have another layer of uh farm places to target so you end up you know you have that you slap the aspect on an item but now it's like 28 you want to upgrade it you know you need to collect that you upgrade it and um you don't need to pick all the all, all the stuff from the ground so that you can extract it and keep it in the hope that you won't you know need it or when you throw it away because you've got too many of them you you're, you're afraid that you've you know, wasted something I don't, and that would kind of you know lower all the all the legendaries dropping from the sky that will make you know with them being less common that would make a drop more exciting because you know right now everyone's uh flaccid when something drops this is the term that's being you know tossed around flaccid flaccid i'm flaccid i've never been more flaccid yeah it, me too i mean the only real excitement that i got is actually when i got that dolmen stone and when i got the god slayer's crown and um these are you know uniques that drop uh later on so which means is that you you are gonna get excited only once you've reached this you know the end end game let's say when, when you've reached like level 90 or 100 or something like that and uh there are many people who would never get it i mean there are many people who would get bored before that and there are many people who would like their early game to be meaningful to have something like uh you know, uh, a unique dropping every now and then. So speaking of less items dropping, uh, rares are another thing that's dropping all the time. And um, let me just go back to my happy place. Rares are dropping all the time because um, what our character is right now and what this is something that Blizzard has like said. Our character is a bucket. No, it's a bucket where you pour percentages of damage types into it until it becomes strong enough. And um, this is something quite evident in the way that all the aspects work, you know, the all the paragon things and all the all the items and all that. It's just everything is kind of centered around damage. There are not many layers of defense. You can't really build different types of defensive mechanics like in poe for example and uh, you don't have auras here you don't have all you, you only have you know your resistances which you have them um now you did not have them before in pre-season and in season one you, basically the, the the larger portion of the game's uh, uh lifespan has had only armor or whatever it is defense yeah, armor as a defensive layer, which is, you know, kind of barren a bit. And um, as I was saying, damage buckets, uh, before it was only vulnerability and crit. Okay, now they fixed it. Now it's something else for every character. But, but you're still hunting, you're still looking for, you know, percentage upgrades on, um, on the type of damage or at least on the you know variation of damage that your character is built around for example i'm a pulverized druid and i need crit and overpower and this is what i'm this is what i'm pouring into the bucket this is what i'm looking for and just pouring percentage upgrades into that bucket so what that kind of leads to is that you have no breakpoints and uh, what you're looking for is every every piece of gear is you know that random placeholder thing with its four stats that need to have as much as a high row as possible on them so that they could add to that bucket of uh, whatever your character is and four stats on these rares are okay let's let's say it's you know it's a rare item 
four stats. Okay, they've decided upon that. But then I, I just think that uniques and legendaries. Okay, legendaries have their powers. Uniques have the legendary power, the, the unique power on them and all that. But I just think that uh, some of them should, you know, be more intimidating with the stats. There should be like more wild things on these items that you can see that you can roll and um, I think maybe a fifth stat wouldn't be wouldn't be that much of a problem wouldn't be so overpowered and um, by fifth stat I don't mean just add me another damage to immobilize or damage to something like that and if I were giving the butchers work I would you know chop off a large portion of these just remove all the damage conditions and uh, add more uh, more things more stats that solve a certain problem and just give them wider ranges or maybe a fixed uh, a, a fixed value or something multipliers that actually make sense and um, help you reach that you know that milestone in your build whereas right now you don't actually feel that you're uh, you're braving an obstacle with your build you're not actually you know you're you, from from level one until a hundred you're just stacking stats upon each other and that doesn't lead to anything except for you know increasing the numbers the damage numbers and all that and with the exception of a few you know unique interactions and with the exception of you know the mandatory aspects that that make that you know certified blizzard build work you kind of end up chasing almost nothing there there's nothing to uh look forward to and this is a big problem because it's all about the chase it's all about the excitement of it and uh right now i i have felt the chase uh with a few items but this is it this is this is all there is and it was too easy to achieve so um again i think it would be more healthy for the game we actually had a harder time uh getting these and uh prolonging the sense of chase prolonging that that time that we spend uh looking for the for the good thing uh, i don't mean that they should make it impossible to drop like with the uber uniques preseason but uh there should be like a middle ground where you kind of actually have to work towards that where you're not right now the working part like the the, the hard part of getting a good item is actually filtering through all of the thousands of rares that you're getting and just you know not uh, salvaging it by mistake this is this is probably the worst part of it all and this is something that Quinn actually mentioned in his uh his Diablo 4 good now video so if we've had more you know uh wilder stats or bunkers that make our character cross a certain threshold of power uh that would mean that we would need less of these rare items dropping all the time eventually it would make you know for a much smoother cleaner experience as we're farming it would uh, not make us go back to salvage shit all the time and it would you know it be more exciting when you've gotten that good upgrade so less clutter more fun for me at least I know how that sounds from a guy who plays PoE as well, but, you know, um, apples and oranges here. So, um, to sum it up, what I would, you know, what I would like to see is uh, a larger pool of uniques to choose from. And um, being able to drop a good unique or a good item for for another character so that you can, you know, start, start with a different character and already have some good leveling unique on them. And uh, these should serve certain purposes. They should solve problems with your with your build, with your character. They should eventually give you the option to build around them to make wonky interactions and um, work towards breaking the game in a uh, positive, healthy way, of course. And of course, open trade so that we could share a good drop with uh, with a friend who needs it. Remove that stupid scaling on uniques. Make them actually unique. Get rid of uh, bullshit conditional stats. Add more, you know, uh, again, problem-solving roles. So it sounds like you gotta remake the whole game. But, you know, okay, we're getting an expansion. So um, we'll probably see runes at some point. So uh, that's gonna add a new layer of clutter to all of it. 
which in itself would mean we would need to have a purpose for uh, white and blue items as well. Because I haven't even talked about that because I don't know, I don't know where to, you know, where to start at. Uh, right now, white items, blue items, it is, I don't know, man. I don't know what they're doing. I, I, I was about to, you know, go through all of that uh, in Diablo 2, uh, the magic items, I actually do this and that, but I, I don't see it being relevant right now. Uh, and it's just, it, it's not the ability, obviously. And um, it has been the same in D3 as well. So I don't know what the purpose of uh, White Atoms is. You don't have any crafting in that game. You don't have any. So yeah, maybe runes. Maybe runes eventually would do something. Who knows? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. You're still hoping. And, uh, you know, definitely we're getting, we're getting updates that kind of make the game better. I, I can... I can definitely say that the game is better right now with season two. It is is way better, and uh, they've announced that ne next week they're adding more unique rings, the malignant unique rings. So this is something that we actually want to see. This is okay. This is an update on itemization, be it good or bad, and this is gonna bring life into the game right now. So I mean, again, an ARPG is all about items, and uh, having that update, I think, is a good is a good thing. Just hoping again that we um, end up seeing positive updates on the road. They said that they're working on itemization, reworking it. So um, we can only hope, and now uh, we can only see that. So uh, coffee's done. It's getting dark outside, although it's like uh, midday, whatever. I'll be playing some Crangled PoE probably right now. It's, uh, yeah, not much to do in uh, D4 Season 2 right now. But next week, Malignant Rings. Eh, we could farm some of these. Who knows? See you next time, guys. And, uh, you know, drop comments down below. Tell me what you think. Share some thoughts. Like, subscribe, whatever you want. Just have fun and uh, have a good weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>